Hey guys, it's Armani from LA Love Creative. I am back, I am back from my trip to Tokyo. I had a blast. I recently did some work, I did some fashion, photography, and video work for a client out in Tokyo. So today we're gonna talk about some travel tips um, from a filmmaker perspective, and also what's in my camera bag when I'm traveling to places like this and when I'm trying to do this run and gun style shooting. I have to say my first tip I would give filmmakers and photographers is to pack light. I know you're a filmmaker, you're a photographer, you have so many different ideas when you're thinking about what kind of travel video you want to do, what kind of behind the scene video you want to do. So what I actually ended up bringing with my laptop, my iPad, the Sony a7 III, one lens, the Tamron 28-75, I felt that was a good lens for all around shooting. I brought a couple of batteries, a couple of memory cards, my Mavic Air, and that was pretty much it. So it really helped my back when we were running and gunning and running around through Tokyo. And even when I was shooting my personal stuff with my girlfriend, it was really cool to not have so much equipment. One tip I would like to give a lot of people out there is if you're traveling with a lot of expensive equipment, try to keep it into two pieces of luggage. I was really lucky enough to get some free luggage from ChesterTravels.com. I really love this company. I've used them on a few trips. Their stuff is high quality and very stylish. My next tip would be to embrace public transportation. In Tokyo, they have some of the best public transportation. The subway is so intricate but so easy and effective to get to places. Um, it's a little tricky at first. When you first get to it, you're just like overwhelmed by how many different trains there are. And it's really easy. Once you get out of the airport, there's these little, you know, kiosk type things. And you just go in there, try to get a Passmo card and you reload onto it like a Metro card or something like that. And those cards can get you anywhere in Tokyo. Another tip I would say is really enjoy the atmosphere. In Tokyo, they have these awesome, restaurants, awesome bars. I really explored a lot of that. The food and the atmosphere is just so amazing. One of the tips I would say is if you're wanting to drink, hit up Golden Guy in Shinjuku. There's a lot of awesome bars there. Hit up the fish markets, really high quality, fresh fish, just amazing food. They will barbecue it for you, they'll grill it for you. It's just an amazing experience. Really take advantage of Japanese culture and Japanese food. extra tip if you're getting off the airport in Tokyo and you are just wondering how you're gonna get around I suggest getting a pocket Wi-Fi the one I used was from a company called global it's at the airport in Tokyo and I think that really helps you out when you're trying to use Google Maps to get around the city another thing I would say if you're in Tokyo if you're in the city and you feel a little bit you know, burned out, maybe you're walking all the time and you feel like you want a different change of atmosphere, don't be afraid to check out the parks and shrines. Tokyo has some amazing shrines and their parks make you feel like you're outside of the city even though you're surrounded by the city. Just a great way to get some fresh air. And if you really are feeling a little bit more, you know, adventurous, I suggest hitting up Okutama. About two hours by train from Tokyo, and it is a totally different atmosphere. It has big giant mountains, beautiful lakeside, and just an awesome experience to go to. If you like this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. And hit us up if you have any questions regarding photography, travel videography, and we will see you next time. <sighs> Unfortunately, it won't be another travel video.